from Amy that I thought was important to share. I appreciated your story about the football players traumatized while in Hawaii during and after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. I also hope that today or this week you will share stories of what the Japanese American communities and their family and friends faced at the time and which ultimately led to thousands of innocent people being imprisoned in internment camps throughout World War II. Thank you for your email, Amy. It was a very dark, uh, horrific and local piece of history that we definitely need to talk about. On February 19th, 1942, FDR signed an executive order that forced more than 100,000 Japanese Americans into internment camps. Most of these camps were here in this area on the West Coast. There was a temporary camp here in Portland for a time uh, where these photos, uh, the photo that you see here, was taken. After that, Japanese Americans in Oregon were sent to internment camps out of state in Idaho or California. There's a ton of history on life inside these camps for Oregonians on the Secretary of State's website if you want to go on and check that out. A few years ago during an anniversary ceremony of FDR's executive order, we heard from family members of internment survivors here in Portland. And the family was taken to the Portland Assembly Center, from there to Lee Lake, and then from there Minidoka. It was a result of race prejudice and uh, war hysteria and a failure of political leadership. Um, what happens to, to one person happens to all of us. They're heartbroken because they never thought that they would hear the same sentiment and see these things being repeated. And that last comment was in reference to President Trump's travel ban back in 2017, which you'll remember temporarily stopped people from seven predominantly Muslim countries from getting visas to travel to the U.S. Courts eventually struck down that ban.